Dear traders, welcome to the MK Block summary. Today is Saturday, the 15th of July. Let's get started. Some beautiful trades this week. So, the 9th of uh, July, the Sunday, Euro Aussie took the upper medium term stop as it was predicted uh, the week before when the markets closed on Friday. So Sunday night when markets opened, we saw that Euro Aussie took the nice medium term stop here, the green line. Uh, also on the 11th, that was interesting. So we see we have some dumb money shorties in the market, the red bars, and then the eye was pushing Euro Aussie up towards this high there. And then once they filled the auto gap zone, we had an MTS below the price. So here, 12 past 10 on the 13th of July, we saw the nice move down as predicted towards the inner range MTS. Okay. So another beautiful medium term stop hunt. And then the next day, guess what? A new medium term stop above the price that also took this one out here. Yeah? Like here, shortly before the markets closed again. So three amazing MTS runs in Euro Aussie, beautiful trades, um, awesome. We've seen it many times before by now. Pound Aussie, so on the 11th, we see the market is kind of topped out, but there are still like overall shorties in the market. Some kind of squeeze move, and then we have four hour reversal. Um, as soon as shorties left the market, of course it's overstretched. It took all the long term highs, and then. Um, on the 13th, we saw also similar to Euro Aussie, the beautiful inner range MTS run down. So take note that we had here like again a four hour reversal plus a one hour chart inner range MTS run. The combination is powerful as we know. Nice one. And then here, this was one of my favorites this week. Okay, nice prediction. At three past nine, I say pound Aussie on the M30 can take this upper order, sorry, option strike signal. So a nice long trade. Look, we have some shorties in the market. Uh, cheap entry already went a bit flat, already retested the low. So a, a long long trade towards this option strike target. Beautiful, beautiful long trade. Excuse me. Okay, one of my most favorite trades this week. Beautiful long trade, I did well on this. And take note also here we had again for our reversal energy plus the inner range um, Option strike target in this case, okay? The combination is always good. That's so beautiful about the causality. We see what's happening on the higher time frames and then on the lower ones. Oh, this one also one of my favorite this week, dollar cut, where it was two beautiful medium term stop targets below the price, okay? Some longies. So I wrote at 20 past uh, nine, dollar cut should take the lower medium term stop. And yeah, to make a long story short, this is exactly what happened. Okay, first took the lower one. Okay, boom. And uh, then went for those two beautiful ones below. Yeah, boom. Amazing short trade, one of the best ones as well. Look at this position again. Slightly undershooting those MTS and then pull back. Okay. And this also take note of this, okay, on the high time frame here with the longies in the market, even though the squeeze was dying, they just, you know, kicked out these longies with the MTS run. Beautiful trade. <coughs> and then pull back up from the from the target. And then oh this also I love that on, on Friday. So we suddenly had those open option uh, strike targets, okay on the M30 chart, so just needs to make a normal pullback to fill those, again, beautiful, beautiful uh, long trade there. Nice. Okay, let's come to the yen pairs, let's start with pound yen, so remember we had at the beginning of the week a bit of a dumb money switch going on, so as you can see, some long is coming in, alright, market overstretched, uh, but yeah, just a slight collapse in the, in the squeeze line, so some short is leaving and then boom. That allowed them to normalize and take those two in a range medium term stops there. Beautiful here on the 11th at 3 past 10, we see exactly to the lower target. Nice short trade. I caught this nicely. Then 
later the day, 10 to 5, we have the situation where it's at the lower for our reversal band and again a dumb money switch to shorties. So we know that it can take the, uh, can do a pullback up, okay. Um, and then also we had the uh, option strike target appearing on the one hour chart in pound yen, okay. And these were also some of the most beautiful trades of the week. Look at that. So I wrote on the 13th at uh, 10.30, pound yen moving to fill the option strike target. It's a beautiful long trade, okay, cheap entry towards the option strike target. A typical pullback Friday also, yeah. We see that sometimes we have like overstretched markets because of squeezes. Then on a Friday, sometimes with news, like doing pullbacks often to option strike targets. Typical case, look at that, boom, 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 those three filled. And then those two filled, okay? Beautiful long trade, I loved it. And the precision is just absolutely incredible. Not difficult. Urien pretty similar, so again, we also had some kind of dumb money switch there on the day chart and um, yeah, I mean, again, also the, it had uh, open option strike targets. So very similar market structure. Also a beautiful long trade there. Look, some shorties where we want them to be. So Yuri ended basically the same thing. 13th, around 10.30 I said. Yuri is on the way to fill the option strike targets. One, two, trading along against the shorties. And uh, yeah, that happened nicely, okay? Take note how they did a pullback with a pin exactly to the lower MTS and then boom, filled those option strike targets. Beautiful trade. It can't get better than that. Okay. And again, for our reversal energy plus the inner range targets on the one hour chart. Okay. You don't find this anywhere. That's how this game works. Dollar yen, a bit more complex. So on the tens, like here, we saw like the longies in the market. Okay. Um, so they went all the way down against the longies and took the lower big MTS. Okay, remember that from last week. Beautiful short trade right there, beautiful target. Everything aligns, okay. Long is where we want them to be, so beautiful. <coughs> but uh, so then, look, we had an open option strike target like in the other yen pairs, okay. And then actually we had two, three more following. Where are we? So. Um, and then the pullback up. When we have, ah, here it is, the lion. There we go. Okay, so went down against the longies, one to three open options, uh, options for targets. So I say they can do a pullback up, started to do a pullback up, kiss the moving average on the day chart, the 20 moving average. Yeah, take note of that. And then move to, to fill the first one and can move further up. Next week, of course, there are some longies in the way, but if some shorties come in during the week, it can fill them and do a pullback. So the other yen pairs were a bit leading and the yen in this case was a bit lagging, which is rather rare. Okay, um, dollar cut we talked about. All right, euro dollar, the big one, also a great prediction. So I said on the 10th of July, should clear the highs, okay? And look at this screenshot. So we have dumb money shorties in the market, yeah? A squeeze against the shorties, short positions below the price, so that's real support. So we know it's gonna go up and clear that high. Okay, easy long trade there. Even as LTS, even further up. Okay. Expensive entry into a failed reversal up towards the target. Boom. Really not difficult to predict that if you understand the market causality. Look at that on the 11th. Yeah. So it took the high as as predicted. Euro dollar cleared the high out tomorrow of the US CPA data. These will have an impact on how aggressive the smart money will treat the dummy shorties. So we knew that if the news are worse for the dollar, they're gonna use that or abuse that to just go up and clear out all these shorties, which is what happened, okay. Like I wrote here on the 12th, US news, dummy shorties, euro dollar here on the four hour chart. If today the US CPI data is lower as expected, then the smart money algorithm will go for all the dummy shorties and do a fish move up, boom. And what do you think? Do you think the price is coming down? Why? You know, we have shorties below the price, so it won't come down. It needs to finish up these shorties. Yeah, remember that. And boom, here we go. Okay, with the news, beautiful up stop hunt up against the shorties. Yeah, not difficult. Look at that, as predicted, going all the way up even towards the LTS because even more shorties came in. This is forex. All right. Boom, look at that, took even the day chart highs against the shorties. Never forget 
these kind of scenarios. They are very repetitive, right? Then later the week, of course, they cleared everything up. The squeeze is going on, um, and uh, it looks like it tries to normalize a little bit. But that was an easy theme. Pound dollar pretty much the same. Just at the beginning of the week, they went down and took this short-term stops because some longies came in. And then they had the options for a target, but then also shorties took over. Look at that, I wrote. Pound dollar is new dominant shorties and goes up against these, taking the STS. Okay, so shorties coming in, expanding squeeze. So they're gonna go all the way up, similar to Euro dollar, of course. The same scenario with the news, and boom, they take the long term high. Okay, look at that. Red bars shorties, so the price is going up because the algo is pushing the market up. So like I wrote for dollar here on the day chart, as written before, the money shorties are served by the smart money algos with a counter move. If the S news are even weaker than expected, the smart money could even reach for an LTS after that at some point. There can be the money switch, but so far no longies. First I need to complete the job. Okay? Boom. Now try to pre-guess the scenarios. Trade what you see, not what you think, as I always say, yeah. And take note of this here. Look on the day chart where the super big grail pattern going on and they wanted this plateau for the LTS against the shorties. That's why they went all the way up. Okay? Clockwork. Not supply and demand. This is how this works. Okay, let's move on. Euro pound. So it filled this options rate target at the beginning of the week. And then we had still uh, an MTS above the price, but quite far away and overall long is in the market. Um, but they went for the upper MTS because some shorties came in, some longies left the market. Did a pre uh, counter move, a pre main run counter move. So just before they were the target, they went all the way down, cleared the lower two MTS, which were established there. Boom, look at that. Okay. <laughs> And then longies kind of took over. So longies are trying to buy uh, euro pound. Okay, so therefore, as I wrote last week, as you can see in the day chart, expanding squeeze line longies so they clear the low. Okay, we know it's gonna go down. So it cleared the low. Then at some point, did an inner range move. And here I said euro pound on the one hour chart, the smart is going to take up the inner range MTS. So normal pullback up to fill that. Nice long trade there. Boom. Okay. And um, very interesting, look at that next day. So again, four hour reversal, so down money switch with four hour energy up, plus the news, plus the MTS. Then later on, again, went to take the counter uh, MTS, okay, and again took it by a, by a pin. So played, pra uh, played Pac Man, okay, in the lower time frames. Amazing. So went down, so went up went down took the two mts went up to this mts went down to this mts boom double tap and levels out okay if you caught one or two of these well done if you caught two or three even better australian dollar uh so at the beginning of the week we had one two mts taken and uh, then we had a very narrow option straight target uh, on the 30 minute chart getting filled. That's not so really tradable un unless you see it quickly. Okay, in this case, so I missed the short scalp here. But then uh, Aussie got pretty interesting. I should show you that. So went up, took this long medium term stop above the price against the shorties because obviously it's going to do a similar thing like Euro dollar and pound dollar. Okay, the dollar pairs are doing the same thing. And then here we see, okay, we've also shorties in Aussie. Okay, we have this long-term day chart high. They want to take out an LTS. So they cleared that, okay? Bit more tricky than, than Euro dollar. But then what happened? That was interesting. On Friday, we have two open option targets. And the price, you know, tries to normalize and fill those. Now, this is for advanced traders because there's still a squeeze going on, as we know, yeah? Nice, more tricky than Euro dollar, but interesting. Oh, Kiwi dollar was also very interesting. So, uh, took some MTS. Oh yeah, I should show you that. Did Pac-Man, okay, took MTS during the week. Uh, and then we have the following situation here. We'll take this one, of course. Uh, boom, the news, so they clear the high, okay. And then I wrote here, that was interesting, okay. Cleared the long-term highs, so you see on the day chart. So shorties came in. They have one, two, three, four highs they would like to clear, which they are doing. 
against the Damani shorties, okay? And um, here on Friday, you see nicely how it took this area, okay? And then some longs came in and they normalized. Of course, you can see how uh, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar are moving in tandem. And because they're all at shorties, yeah? The metals, so silver did a bit of MTS runs at the beginning of the week, okay? This one was a nice. Uh, nice situation and then this was pretty interesting so then on the 13th we see like shorties are coming in the market and they go all the way up with the US news okay, clearing the highs excuse me um, okay and long is leaving the market and they're just doing exaggerated move up not easy to trade that uh, I missed that a little bit I, I, um, but um, gold pretty similar so gold, we have the open MTS, okay, and then uh, also some uh, lower time frame action, and then this was good here on the 13th. So we have an open options trade targets plus an MTS, but a bit of short is in the way, and uh, as you can see, it has several reasons to just normalize what it then did, okay. Can come down further if short is leave next week, so keep that in mind as a theme. Bitcoin to finish off, very interesting, so it wasn't still in this consolidation zone we talked about last time. Uh, only long is coming in, not many shorties, so they cleared both sides of this consolidation, which is pretty interesting. Okay, first went down, then went up, and uh, with some fundamental news then in the end, boom, okay. Cleared the upper part of the consolidation, boom, cleared the lower part. Pretty aggressive there. So yeah, some amazing, beautiful uh, trades this week. Um, very repetitive. Some one hour plus four hour chart setups, which are powerful. You see how it's not difficult to navigate around the news if you know how the market structure looks like. It's not difficult to catch some really good runs, okay? Um, and to see also how things are repetitive. I hope you had a good week and uh, I wish you great next week. Lots of love.